everything happens. But we're going to talk about your introduction, okay? Um, so, does everybody feel like they have a good intro to start their show? Everybody feel, you know, so, so you want to be, you, think about your show. Okay, everybody's walking in, they're coming in, I'm talking to them, so I've made that connection. Okay, now we're ready to start the show. So, a couple of, does anybody feel like they, they really love their introduction? Because, again, I would love for other people to share things. Anybody want to, something that you always do at every show? Like, do you let your guests introduce yourself, themselves? Do you do a little activity? Anybody do anything? Okay, what do you say? Okay, we're starting? I, I always ask if how many people have already been to a show. Okay. A show. I mean, it's their first time and never used the product, never seen the product. Awesome. And then, and then sometimes I'll ask the people who have who have uh, used a lot of Pampered Chef to tell them, you know, tell the others what they like about their favorite product. What's their favorite product? Okay, okay. Kind of again, it's people. a connection moment with you and them with everybody else. <coughs> okay, so that, again, they don't feel like they're sitting in a classroom. Okay, so if I'm going to open up my show, that would be a great way. If it's a huge group, it's sort of hard to go around and say, tell me your favorite product and all that. But introductions are actually something that honors, honors your host, right? So that they can, I usually, you know, what's your favorite product? How do you know Kathleen? Or tell us something. Um, yeah, that's, okay. I was like, I don't know if that's going to stay. Do you, want, do you want to borrow my case thing so it stands up? That's all right. You got okay. it. Um, as long as nobody I'm just watching that thing of green, which I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly falling over. <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's, it's your okay. breakfast, so. Oh, it's breakfast, okay. Um, okay, so. She's going to turn into Popeye here in a minute. So you want to be thinking about, you know, how can I honor my host? Um, how can I honor everybody in the room? So everybody gets to share a little something. If they're brand new, you can thank them for coming, that kind of thing. So we're, so we're going to go ahead and get started, everybody. And I really want to thank Kathleen for letting me come and do her party because, you know, without you guys and without Kathleen, I would have absolutely no business in the kitchen. I would have no business at all, actually, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to um, talk about being in the kitchen, saving you some time, saving you some money. I have a passion for teaching people how to do that. Um, I don't know if, it, does anybody like to save money and, and yeah, anybody on a budget? Anybody do that kind of, okay. You know, and budgets are really important. They're really they're really easy to make and really hard to follow. <laughs> you know, um, I've, I've made a million of them. <laughs> I, I, I make them all the time. Um, but I, I just learned over over time that eating at home and cooking at home is healthier. It's cheaper. It's really a lot more fun if you can make it easy. And so that's what I'm here for. I really have a passion for teaching people how to save time and money and get people back around the dinner table. So that's why I'm here. And tonight's going to be all about you. And I thought it was funny because Kathleen and I sort of say that same thing. Tonight's all about you. We want you to learn something, we want you to have some fun, we're going to give you some good food, I want you to ask questions, I want you to be walking out of this party tonight saying, Kathleen, thank you for inviting me to your party. So, I have a little gift for Kathleen, and I give the, cal the calendar, which sort of is getting to be a lame gift now, because it's almost June, <laughs> but I well, make a joke them. about that and give it to him anyway. Um, or, you know, the Season's Best Cookbook, I bet you all do that one, the Season's Best Cookbook for the mm -hmm. new gals. And guys, it's a great thing to just give her one of the seasons best and have and pass it around and say, okay, I want you to um, take this. I'm going to start with Linda and just write a little something in here about Kathleen, um, just something that will honor Kathleen. And her mom's here tonight, so make sure you don't say anything too, you know, bad. You know, <laughs> pass it around. You know, they and, would and come they, back blank, and they love that. It costs you like a dollar. What does it cost you for those? A dollar? No. Yeah, you know. a dollar. Unless you um, get the ones that are. The 22 cent ones, yeah. which I, yeah, she's got a basement full of them. I have like yeah. 500 of them at my house. Do you guys, if you don't know that, and I don't know if they're still on the supply order. Last season, the, the last $2 ones from last season, you can Are get the discount. Ones, there's none of yeah, the 23 cent ones anymore? Uh -uh. Okay. But you can get them for 42 cents now. 42 cents. Okay, you buy the old season ones, you get them super duper cheap, and that's what I use for my door prizes and, and that kind of stuff. Because people love cookbooks. Okay, so... So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. I'm going to make a really quick recipe for you, and I'm doing chicken bruschetta pasta too. It's it's everybody. If you're not doing that one, everybody doing everybody know chicken bruschetta pasta. Our new people will. Yes, it's a great recipe. It shows everything in the kit. Um, chicken bruschetta pasta. I don't even think it's in one of our cookbooks, is it? It's no. Just one that somebody made. And Does good. Put it together. Awesome recipe. You find it on the. Um, it's you, on, no, it's probably it, on my website, my it's training on mine. website, it's on her training website. Um, okay, so we're going to make you a quick recipe. Um, 
Again, I'm going to try to teach you some things. I want you guys to ask questions. That's like really important to me that if you have a question, just ask. And I'm going to let everybody kind of come up and try a little product so that you can kind of um, get your hands on things that you want to buy. So your introduction, what did you, did you, did you hear anything in there? You know, that, that was of value. I saw some pencils going, you know. So we're thanking our host, we're thanking you, we're letting you know what's going to happen. If you've ever been in the business world, you go to seminars, they tell you, here's what we're going to teach you, and then they teach you, then they tell you what we taught you, right? It's just sort of, so same thing with the show, here's what we're going to do. Now, if you got a big rowdy crowd, you might want to say, you guys look like a lot of fun. Kathleen told me that you guys are really going to be a lot of fun, and that's why I put name tags on you, so that I can <laughs> call you out, and if I have to separate you, or anything like that. But... Here's the thing. I'm going to make food for you. I know you guys are going to want to visit. So if you want to give me... <laughs> if you want to... Oh, that's a, okay, that's, that's a phone. Um, what is that? If you want to give me just a few minutes to get this recipe done and teach you how fast you can make dinner at home, you guys can sit and talk and visit and chit-chat as much as you want. So... Um, and I'm not saying you can't visit now, but the sooner I get this done, the sooner you guys get to eat. <laughs> so what did I just do? I just set the stage that I need a few minutes, okay? Another really bad habit I have is throughout the whole show, I say, okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Even though we're not. <laughs> okay? I talk too long, and I, my shows are too long, and I, I, it just, and I, it's just the way it is. And I, my people know it. My people know it. I said, you're going to go to somebody else's show. It's going to be really quick. You come to mine. It's not. Um, I, I probably do an hour demo. But they're involved the whole time, so it, it seems to work. Okay, so that's sort of your introduction. Now you're going to get into your, your show, and we're not going to do that right now. And then you're going to get to your booking commercial. Okay, now throughout your whole show, you're obviously getting booking ideas out there through the whole show. We used to call it salt and pepper. Is, is how we did it. Now we came out with the booking slide, and so I think the art of saying booking statements throughout the party has kind of got lost. Remember when Beck, what did we say 15 years ago? You talk about bookings three times. Right. Yeah, you know, talk about bookings three times. That was like our magic picture. formula, okay? <laughs> then we came out with the booking slide, and so now it's like, okay, now I'm going to take this time and I'm going to talk about bookings. And I, who uses the booking slide? Love the bookings. No. Really? You guys aren't using the booking slide? No. I do. I love it. Um, do, do you know about the booking slide? Do you have a booking slide? <laughs> okay. 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 Would you like me to teach? And anybody can do it. Do you want it? Do you don't use it either? I don't, but I have a. The, when it first came out, uh -huh. you know how we did the Microsoft Word files of it, right? And that's what. So I she made it. Okay. So she just put it in her. She put it in her book. Okay. The booking slide is a accordion fold thing. And the, and the value of the, the, that is it's an attention getter, okay? And so you take, does anybody feel like they rock and roll on the booking slide? Does anyone want to do it or let me do it? I, Kelly, don't I did it. Did I do it already? Oh, wait, December or something I did. Yeah, but then I did it. Did I have one that I can use? No. Um, I have a pretend one, yeah. She has a pretend one. Okay. The point of the booking slide is it's an attention getter. Because then people are going to be listening to you because it's visual and it's verbal, okay? And that's why, the, that's why little books like this are great because it brings them back into focus, you know, uh, uh, and, and looking at you. That's why calling out a page number. Um, and what she does with the book, if you're not using your catalogs, and you can use a tape flag on your different sections. If you can't remember page numbers, you don't have to remember page numbers, you know? She does. She's like on page 29 or on page 37, you know? So there's a few things she does. She has a turn to the cookware page. She hasn't turned to the Girl Pen and Girl Press page. She hasn't turned to the Stoneware page. Um, I write it in my recipe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So you could just t put a note on your recipe. Tell them right now to turn the page, whatever. You know? Because then they, you, they can get a lot more information very quickly. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Make sure one. Okay. So Kelly's got a new booking oh, slide. Yeah, watch out. So those will hurt. Yeah. yeah. Don't hit anybody. Don't hit my secret. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 Do you do it as telling them what they can get, or do you remind your host what she can get? Yeah, I usually do it as a combo. So it's usually when I film something in the microwave, or I have an extended amount of time, so I kind of talk about. Anyway, you guys know that uh, Susie Host is getting lots of free stuff today, but I want to show you all of the benefits to, to booking with us. 
Sorry, I broke your slide, by the way. But I do that on my show, and they all do that. Okay, but it's an accordion, yeah, so, it always, so it's, it's, it's it a little makes more tame. It makes noise, yeah. but it doesn't... It doesn't have rings, so it's not going to hurt anybody. Fly it's right. Really well. doesn't have, like, flying crap here. But, um, and one side has booking, and one side has, has recruiting, but I just do the booking. So. Yeah, do not do, do both, both at a party. <laughs> you can use either one, but don't use both. Right. Um, so... What I like about it is that it keeps me on track and shows me all the stuff. So just by having you guys over here today, um, Susie's going to earn free products. Now, most of my hosts earn about $115 in free products. And when I say free, I mean anything in the catalog. So you get to page, you get to turn to page 27 and choose what you want, page 42 and choose what you want. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want from the catalog is free. Um, this is a little different order than mine, but... Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, she also gets an additional discount on top of all the free stuff. If her wish list is longer than the free stuff that she's earned, she earns an additional discount, up to 30% off, again, anything in the catalog. She's going to get to choose up to four items at half price. I don't know. The other one folds easier, too. And I just kind of fold it back up. Um, she gets monthly health special. So this month, it's our... So they say the steel bowls that we've been using all of the, or the pink batter bowls, oh my gosh. She gets to choose those at, for just $11.80. Um, Susie gets free shipping, um, which is really fabulous. Um, for everybody else here, we paid just $5.25. And has anybody mailed a priority uh, mail envelope lately? The little flat rate ones? Usually people are participating and they say yes. And, and they're like, oh my god, yeah, there's not so much, blah, blah, blah. And so, <laughs> so, usually I say, you guys can imagine that our stuff is bulky, it's heavy, you only pay $5, no matter how much you order today. So don't worry, load up that order. Um, booking benefits. Oh, so, and she gets an additional benefit. Susie gets an additional, this is not how I do this I know. show. You're doing great. Yeah. Um, so, Every, for every one of you that books the show, Susan's going to get to come to your show, and she's going to get to get that monthly host bonus again at your show. So um, I'm going to show you guys what those specials are, and if there's something else on her list, she's going to come to you and tell you what's your show. Gosh, this is awkward. But none of the benefits end today because Susie gets to have a 10% discount on every order she does for a full year from today. And that's whether she orders from me or from another consultant. Any party she goes to for a full year, she gets a 10% discount. She also gets a discount um, if she likes to start her business today. She can start that for even less. And the best part is me. And I, this one makes me feel so awkward, and I always just say that. I just say, I always feel awkward saying this, but you get me. You get my website, lots of recipes. I'm here to help you with products and warranty items, anything else you need. And then I just like, tuck it away. Very good. That, that was perfect. I mean, that literally was. Um, so I'm going to point out some of the amazing things you did right. So first of all, I love um, what you said about stooping and handling. It's the same thing I do. And, and so now we're going to talk about that power of words. When, if you just say, and she gets free shipping, okay, what is immediately every guest in the room thinking? What am I much is the shipping? Well, what yeah. shipping? I, I hate shipping, right? You know, I'm like Amazon Prime. I want free shipping every time I buy something, right? So she did great. She said, you know, our shipping is so cheap. It's just, it's only, no matter how much you spend, it's only $5.25. So, Teresa, you can spend $400 tonight, $5.25. You can spend $40, it's $5.25. Now, that's not a huge benefit for Susie, but hey, that's a Starbucks or something. So, so you downplay, because really, if you, for you new people, we are the cheapest shipping in the industry on an order. And I love how she said, our stuff is heavy. Yes, what? I have a question. Why yes. do you pay tax on the shipping? In the state of Nebraska, we do. Do we do here? Yes. Yeah, it's 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 not law. The <laughs> yeah, that's and the state Iowa, of Mexico. And Iowa, they don't pay shipping, tax on shipping. It's not a paper check thing. It's a state thing. Okay. In yeah. the state of New Mexico, um, shipping is classed as a service, therefore services. That's why you pay um, yeah. tax on your food at a restaurant, but not at the grocery store. Right. It's classed as a service. Right. Thank you. So, yeah. And I just say, that's a, that's a government thing, not a paper check thing. Okay? So I love that she did that. Um, I love how she really 